Hi, welcome to another episode of Art Bites, a series of short videos collaboratively curated by Mokda, Museum of Contemporary Digital Art, and the digital art platform SuperRare. In today's episode, I will analyze and bring closer the practice of Marjan Mokhadam, who is a pioneering digital artist and animator, working with all sorts of digital media, including 3D computer graphics, motion capture, print, sculpture, AR, and VR. She has been actively creating and exhibiting since the 1980s, when she first used Commodore 64. In this video, I'm focusing on Mokhadam's art hacks. Since 2016, the artist has been hacking her digital bodies and hijacking exhibition spaces, most notably art fairs. She usually creates the hacks as the art fairs are happening and uploads them online. These creative interventions aim at democratizing exhibition spaces. I think this part of Mokhadam's practice is rooted in the history of hacktivism. As the artist puts it herself, to hack is merely transgressive, but to do so with a critical discourse is transformational. I think it's worth explaining that in computer jargon, there is a difference between a hacker and a cracker. Hackers build things, while crackers are the vicious counterparts who destroy them. Hacktivism and digital activism movements were historically aligned with the autonomous anarchist tradition of direct action, anti-globalization and resistance. They merged the debates about the politics of emerging technologies with contemporary strategies of activism and critique. Mokhadam's interventions are often accompanied by voiceovers of people discussing gender inequality. The artist uses morphing female forms and glitches as the basis of her visual language. This is especially evident in one of her art hack series, Glitch Goddesses. I think it's important to bring up Glitch Feminism by Legacy Russell, in which the author says, quote, Does glitch is something that extends beyond the most literal technological mechanics. It helps us to celebrate failure as a new generative force, a new way to take on the world, end quote. With these glitched forms, Mokhadam brings attention to women's issues and celebrates their contributions to the art world. It is worth noticing the power of the medium used by the artist. Augmented reality has been widely used for protest, for example, during Occupy Wall Street. It provides a means of anti-corporate campaigning and reimagining existing spaces, reclaiming the space invisible in the real world. It also can mean tinkering of narratives and opening systems to co-authorship. What do you think of the artist's interventions? Do you think AR can be successfully used for protest and refusal? Let us know in the comments and I hope to see you again in another episode of Art Bites.